Uh, this video is a general guideline on how to use the heat pump system and what to check periodically uh, in breeder cowl system. So first thing is uh, just a general maintenance item is the pressures. Um, the most common cause of faults are pressures dropping. So we have two. We have a hot side over here and the pressure gauge is there beside the uh, beside this red tank. Uh, and the notice there says check it regularly and make sure it's above 1.3, um, which is now just at 1.6. Um, and uh, below uh, 2.7 bar. So if that pressure drops, it will rarely rise above that, but if that pressure drops, we need to fill it using this filler valve system here. So there are two black valves, and we'd open the two doors, one and one down here by the gauge. Uh, that Ignore that gauge in terms of system pressure. And we'll then see this pressure start to rise, which it has there now. Um, so that's how to fill the hot side and to check the pressure on the hot side of the system. And then on the cold side, we have the collector um, gauge, which is up here. And in fact, that has dropped to zero over the couple of weeks. So, uh, and part of the reason there is we can't see it, but it must be there might be a very slow leak in it uh, that may need to be addressed later. Uh, but anyway, the filler valve for that is here, uh, so we'll open uh, this one and, and top it up. Uh, again, here's the guideline on checking the pressure regularly. But PJ is going to fit another gauge that's more easy to see, and I think he's going to fit it here uh, on this pipe. Um, uh, and then we'll, we'll have a very clear view of the collector pressure as well. Okay, um, uh, that's it on the general maintenance items to check. Um, uh, the timer, um, because we're missing a cable between the out here in the shed and inside, we had no choice but to put this underfloor heating pump on a timer. It would normally be called by the thermostats inside and come on only when there's a thermostat is on. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this timer so that when the timer is on, the pump can come on um, uh, or will come on and... Um, when the timer is on except when the heat pump is doing hot water it's wired through the heat pump so if the heat pump is doing a hot water cycle which will only last a half an hour so it'll switch off that it'll cut the power to that pump but what i've done here is um to, to use this timer i've just said um the general guideline with this timer is to um leave it on for plenty time more time than you want because what will happen inside is we use the stats to turn to turn off each zone so if a stat inside is looking for heat and this timer isn't on, nothing will happen. So I've set that to come on at um, uh, 16, 1700 in the evening and stay on all night because if you have night rate, it's cheaper until 8 in the morning. And then it won't necessarily be heating except in the open zones um, uh, only when there's a stat calling. But if there's a stack calling inside and this isn't on, nothing will happen. And when it's when it's on, you'll see the little red light on it there. That's the timer for the underfloor pump. And then finally, how to use this uh, um, heat pump. I'll do a separate video for that.